as we're working on our rehab exercises, we're going to start out with those really basic, easy breathing type exercises. Down the line, we're looking forward to being able to do crunches again, sit-ups again, leg lifts, all those great ab things that are really wonderful for helping us build our strength. But how do we go from the rehab all the way up to those exercises? There's got to be something in the middle. So today I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to help bridge the gap between those more basic, easy exercises to the more advanced ones. I like to call it hands and knees crunches. And you'll see what I mean when I show you. So let's give it a try together. I would like you to set up in your hands and knees position to get started. So you'll be Hands and knees here, we're going to think about the pointy part of our elbow pointing back as best as you can towards your thighs. Your arms and legs look just like a tabletop. All right, and now we're going to try to find a neutral spine. We want to try to do our best to form a straight line from our neck down to our tailbone. So do your best to get that. This is our starting position. I'd like you to let your belly go now, just your belly. The upper back stays still. Now, using your belly muscles, you're gonna pull your belly back up to where it was when it started. Check in with your neck, is it relaxed? You can shake no and yes, and make sure that neck is totally relaxed. Let's do another rep. Belly down, really let that belly relax. Pull it up using your belly muscles. Only your lower back and belly move. Let's do one more together. Belly down, relax it, and up. All right, so that one is really great for developing not only strength, but also endurance. When we go to use our abs during the day, as cool as crunches can be and as great as they can be, we're not really doing a lot of action while we're on our back using our abs. However, during the day, how many times do you find yourself with your back in this position? Sure, you're probably on your feet. You're probably bending over to pick something up, but nevertheless, your torso is facing the ground. So in order to help us with that strength and endurance so that we can hold that great neutral core throughout the day, it's great to practice here. So going into hands and knees, doing those crunches against gravity. Now, when you're on your back, when you do a crunch, you have to lift your head and your shoulders. Those are pretty heavy. So that's a lot to ask right off the bat. Yes, it's great to advance to that when you're ready, but for me, I know I needed to do something just a little bit lighter to help get myself to that point. And these hands and knees crunches were exactly what I needed. I hope that they are of help to you. Let us know how you do with them.